Have you ever wondered how your cat perceives you? It's a question that sparked curiosity in many a cat owner. Today, we're going to delve into this feline mystery, exploring the fascinating perspectives of our furry friends. Drawing from research and expert opinion will shed light on whether cats see us as owners, friends, parents, or simply as larger cats. We'll even tackle the big question. Do cats generally love their owners? So, are you ready to dive into the world of your feline friend? Cats are known for their independence, aren't they? This statement rings true for many of us who've had the pleasure of sharing our homes with these intriguing creatures. Cats have a reputation for being solitary animals, and that's not entirely without merit. Various studies have delved into the solitary nature of cats, and the results are fascinating. One such study was spearheaded by Dr. John Bradshaw, a renowned cat behavior expert. According to Bradshaw, cats see us not as a source of dependence but as a somewhat equal. Picture this, your feline friend doesn't see you as their caretaker but rather as a peer. Quite the ego boost, isn't it? Bradshaw's research goes further to suggest that cats view humans as larger, clumsier versions of themselves. So, when your cat brings you a gift of a dead mouse or bird, they're not being malicious or trying to upset you. It's their way of teaching you how to fend for yourself, just as they would do with a younger cat. Cats are indeed independent creatures, but their independence is not an indication of indifference. They may not need us to survive, but they choose to coexist with us. The fact that a cat chooses to spend its time with you, despite its independence, is a testament to the bond it shares with you. But that doesn't mean they don't have affection for us, does it? Quite the contrary, as we'll delve into in our next segment. Ever imagined being a big cat in your cat's eyes? Well, it's not as far-fetched as it sounds. Recent research suggests that our feline friends may actually perceive us as larger, non-hostile versions of themselves. That's right, to your cat, you might just be a giant, friendly feline. This fascinating perspective comes from a study conducted by the University of Sussex. The researchers found that cats don't seem to differentiate between the meows produced by their fellow cats and the human attempts to mimic these sounds. In other words, when you meow at your cat, it's likely they perceive it as another cat's communication rather than a human's imitation. This could mean that when your cat looks at you, it's not seeing a human being but rather a bigger and harmless version of itself. Think about it, you're larger than them, you have forward-facing eyes like them, and you engage with them in a friendly manner. From a cat's perspective it wouldn't be too far off to consider you as one of its kind. But what does this mean for our understanding of cat-human relationships? Well, it could explain why cats often behave towards us in ways that seem distinctly cat-like. For instance your cat might show you its belly, a sign of trust among cats. Or it may rub against your legs, a behavior cats usually reserve for their own kind to spread their scent and mark their territory. It's important to note that this theory is still under debate among animal behaviorists. Some argue that cats do understand the difference between humans and other cats, but choose to interact with us in the only ways they know how, which is through their feline behaviors. So, while we might not be able to definitively say that your cat thinks you're just a big cat, there's certainly some compelling evidence to suggest it's a possibility. Interesting, isn't it? But there's more to it. Do cats get attached to their owners? It's a question that's been asked by many a curious mind, and it turns out there is some scientific grounding to the notion. A study conducted by Oregon State University suggests that cats can indeed form attachments to their owners that mirror the bonds human infants and dogs create with their caregivers. To understand this we first need to delve into the concept of attachment theory. This psychological model seeks to describe the dynamics of long-term relationships between humans, but it doesn't just apply to humans. In the animal kingdom, attachment can be categorized into two types, secure and insecure. Secure attachment is when the animal feels safe and comfortable with their caregiver. They feel confident to explore their environment knowing they have a secure base to return to. Now, does this sound like your furball confidently strutting around the house but always coming back to rub against your legs or curl up next to you on the couch? That's secure attachment at work. On the other hand, insecure attachment manifests as anxiety and uncertainty. An insecurely attached animal might cling to their caregiver afraid to explore their surroundings, or they might avoid their caregiver altogether. Back to our feline friends. The study by Oregon State University used a method similar to one used in human-infant attachment studies. They found that cats, much like human infants and dogs, display patterns of secure and insecure attachment towards their caregivers. 
Around 65% of the cats in the study were securely attached to their owners, showing comfort and ease in their presence, while the rest displayed signs of insecure attachment. So, what does all this mean? It means that your cat isn't just tolerating you for the steady supply of food and warm spots to nap. They're likely forming an emotional bond with you one that brings them comfort and security. So yes, cats do seem to get attached to their owners. Does your cat show you love? This may be a question you often find yourself asking, especially if you're used to the overt affection displayed by our canine companions. But cats? They have their unique ways of showing their love and affection, which can often be misunderstood or overlooked. Firstly, let's talk about kneading. This is when your cat pushes in and out with their paws, alternating between left and right. It's a behavior that stems from their kittenhood. As kittens, they need their mother's belly to stimulate milk production. So when your adult cat needs you, it's a sign that they associate you with the comfort and security they felt with their mother. It's their way of saying, I feel safe and content with you. Another subtle but significant sign of feline affection is the slow blink. Cats are predators, and in the wild, making direct eye contact and closing their eyes in the presence of another creature could be dangerous. So, when your cat looks at you and delivers a deliberate slow blink, it's a profound sign of trust and affection. They're essentially saying, I trust you enough to let my guard down. Lastly, we have grooming. Cats are fastidious creatures spending a significant portion of their day cleaning themselves. But when your cat starts to lick you or attempts to groom you, it's a sign of their affection. It's their way of mingling their scent with yours, a behavior seen in the wild where cats groom each other to establish a common group scent. So, cats do show affection, but in ways that are uniquely feline. They may not wag their tails or jump up and down in excitement like dogs, but their affection is no less sincere. It's all about understanding and appreciating their unique language of love. So next time your cat blinks at you slowly, know that it's a kitty kiss. So, what does all this mean for cat owners? Well, it's quite an interesting story we've unraveled, isn't it? We've learned that our feline friends perceive us not as owners but as big, non-hostile cats. This perspective stems from their independent nature that's been honed over thousands of years of evolution. Despite their independence, it's clear that cats do form attachments to their human companions. We've dived into the world of cat behavior, exploring the fascinating ways in which these elegant creatures interact with us. Cats, unlike their canine counterparts, don't see us as a different species but rather as oversized, clumsy cats. They approach us with the same behaviors they would exhibit towards their feline friends, which is why your cat might attempt to groom you or bring you gifts of small prey. It's their way of saying, hey, you're part of my clan. But don't let their independent streak fool you. Cats can form deep and meaningful attachments to their human companions. It may not always be apparent given their unique ways of showing affection, but it's there. Your cat's purring, kneading, and even that gentle headbutt are all signs of their affection for you. And speaking of affection, let's not forget how differently cats express it. While dogs may jump and wag their tails, a cat's love language is a little more subtle. A slow blink, for instance, is a cat's equivalent of a loving gaze. They might not rush to the door to greet you but that doesn't mean they don't care. They just show it in their own, unique ways. So, while we may never truly become owners in the eyes of our cats, we can certainly be their friends, their family, and their trusted companions. The key is to understand their unique behaviors and respond in kind. Once you've cracked the code, you'll find that the bond between you and your cat is truly special. Remember, understanding your cat is the key to a perfect relationship.